Hey guys, we're here. We are here. It's that time of the year. Welcome to the holiday season here at King and Bay. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make our infamous King and Bay Woodford Reserve Bourbon Nog. At this time out of the year, every year, around this time, once the eggnog is in the, in the stores, I start getting text messages from my clients. Hey, when am I coming in for that bourbon nog? When are you guys doing your open house? It's, uh, it's something that we've developed the recipe over the years that we enjoy doing over here and enjoy sharing with our clients. Um, so let me take you through the recipe. We have our own proprietary blend of two separate liqueurs that we like to use. One that I can't absolutely tell you. The other one might have a little bit of chocolate in it. So let's go ahead, a quarter ounce of each. My recommendation, if you're making something like this at home, you know, pick liqueurs that you're used to, that you're familiar with, that you enjoy, some of the flavors that you like. And, and you can substitute some of these for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put liqueur number one. And then liqueur number two. Now, one of my absolute favorite bourbons, Woodford Reserve. You can put it in cocktails, you can sip it. That's the most fantastic part about this. We're gonna go ahead and put two ounces of this. And then we're going to use Woodford Reserve chocolate bitters. Just a few dashes, just a few drops. It goes quite well with the eggnog. So just a few drops of the chocolate bitters. Now we're gonna put four ounces of your favorite eggnog. We're just gonna pour ice in our shaker. You don't need to shake it any fancy or anything like that. Just wanna make sure that it's filled and mixed well. You know what, guys, this is one of my absolute favorite cocktails. It's very easy to go down. So all you gotta do is just go ahead, pour it in the glass. We've already shaved the chocolate in advance. We use a 70 or 80% cocoa. We like a little bit of the bitterness to cut out with the, with the sweetness of the cocktail itself and the richness of the eggnog. And then we're gonna finish it off at the festive season, a cinnamon stick. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is your King and Bay bourbon knot. Enjoy. Cheers to the holiday season. Mmm, that's delicious. Now, one of the big questions that I that I always get from my clients is, hey, you know, what am I what am I gonna wear? Uh, on, on Christmas, or what am I wearing on the Christmas Eve, or you know, what am I wearing to the dinner? So I'll share how I like to enjoy mine. So, so while I was sitting watching the basketball game, I was in my Derrick Rose t-shirts, nice and soft and silky, Derrick Rose pajamas. You know, they're super comfortable, they're super light, but you know, you wanna feel more cozy. So I put on my, um, my cashmere cardigan. It, it's super, super soft, super supple, weight to the skin, it feels very homey, very cozy, but also again smart. You know, if you have brunch, now you can throw on a pair of denim with that same t-shirt and wear the cardigan and it's great. Or a cashmere hoodie, whatever floats your boat. You could even do a full cashmere set, a hoodie and track pants, and, uh, and then you're not leaving the house. Now, that's daytime, right? That's what you do for brunch, or that's what you're doing with family when you're opening presents, when you're sitting around the, you know, around the fire during the daytime. But evening, dinner. Often people are like, hey, I'm just going over to my family's, or I'm just like at home. Why should I throw on a jacket? Well, you know, it is festive season. You don't necessarily have to dress up altogether too much. A nice pair of dark blue denim with, with a beautiful, you know, over here, as you can see, sort of this like light, off-white tone cashmere turtleneck with a Bordeaux jacket or with a hunter green jacket or a nice sport jacket of any sorts for that matter of fact. It looks a little bit polished. It looks a little sharper. It's nice to dress up for the holidays. You know, you could you could throw on a bomber on top of this or you don't necessarily even have to wear a jacket. 
that's one way to incorporate knit or something a little bit more laid back that you're going to be comfortable in. You know, you're eating a lot as we all do during the holidays. You want something a little bit more forgiving that sort of expands and contracts as you go. So I prefer wearing a knit during the holiday season that looks polished but also makes you feel very comfortable and cozy inside your own home. Cheers. Happy holidays.